Hey Aries, so I'm going to do a reading. We're going to see what comes out for you guys at this time, okay? Keep in mind while you're listening to the message that this is general, so if you're hearing certain messages that don't apply or resonate to your situation, don't force it. Listen to your intuition, okay? Thank you guys for your love and your support on the channel. I really do appreciate you all. We're going to go ahead and get started and see what your message is at this time, okay? <laughs> That's all I can do is just shake my head like what in the hell this situation is just over No more games is what I'm seeing No more no more tricks. No more lies. None of that You're just tired of this situation or this person you're over it I feel like you gave this person one too many chances one too many like All right, I'm gonna slide like you let this person slide way too much or you let the situation go on way longer than it needed to okay i see the ace of pentacles here so this is like a fresh start you're gonna be stepping into a new cycle a new thing this could be a new job a new home there's a new energy that's surrounding you because whatever that was like i'm done like you're so over this spirit tell me more about the message for the collective tell me more Spirit was waiting for you to let this go so that you can really have what you deserve, okay? For some of you, like, again, like, this could be about a job, all right? Some of you were dealing with um, a work environment, a workplace that was just, these are not your people, okay? This is not what you were meant to do, all right? This could be a relationship that was not your person, that was not the home you were meant to be in. Like, this was never meant to be a permanent situation is what I'm seeing, but it was difficult for you to see that because of all the games. There were so many lies here, so much deception. So it almost made you think like you were supposed to be here. Which is why we had the Ten of Swords, like you, you, you stuck it out for a while. Ten of Swords, for some of you this could be as long as 10 years. 10 months, okay? But this is a long period of time. Alright, so there's something better here. Yeah, five of pentacles here. Yeah. It's been a struggle. It's been a struggle to get you to see this, that you deserve more. So you were settling. Yeah, you were settling in the situation. But you see it now. See the six of cups? You see it. Some of you are just kind of like, you know, stay, staying in the situation out of comfort. All right. Um, there was no more room for growth here. And whatever this is, this, this uh, neighborhood, this job, this relationship, there were, you reached your limits. Okay, so there's more. Spirit, tell me about more. What else is out here for the collective? Tell me about this abundance that's coming in. So you're getting a new spot. <laughs> a new spot. Ace of Wands here, okay? Some of you are working on a new, like, creative venture, all right? You're excited about the new, like, you're ready for the new. Like, you're so, like, you're so ready is what I'm saying. Like, you're, you're just, yeah, very passionate about this new beginning that you're being offered. Okay, like you can see the possibilities here. You're very inspired by this new energy that's around you. Okay. Spirit, so tell me more about the new things for the collective. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Two of Wands here. Okay, so... This kind of feels risky. But it's a good risk, you know? Yeah, this is a great risk. This is a great investment. This new thing that you're thinking about doing or you're preparing for, um, you're going to have much success here. That's what I'm hearing, much success. Especially um, financially, okay? Yeah, judgment. So this fell right on top of... Like the past energy over here, that magician reverse, that ten of swords. I feel like you have, this is like the final 
say. Like you have made a final decision. You're done. like three separate situations or maybe three separate people here or more than one person like okay I'm gonna have to figure out is this somebody that I keep or let go keep or let go like you've been running down like the phone log like <laughs> looking at your phone uh what is it the contacts do I keep the number or do I let it go you don't have many numbers in there <laughs> this is what I'm seeing now okay let's see for some of you, like, I see you getting a brand new uh, number, like, just letting it all go. All right? Spirit, what else do you have for the collective? What else do you have for the collective? Yeah, you've been decluttering. Not just people, but just, you know, uh, for some of you, your household. You've been decluttering your household, okay? Because there's, you're making space for the new. Yeah. The Eight of Pentacles came out, okay. You may feel very accomplished at this time. All right, you may feel like you know what you're doing or you're dedicated to this new path. So I see you planning a lot at this time. You're making, um, you know, making a way, <laughs> making your way downtown. So the King of Swords came out. All right, King of Swords. Yeah, so I just see you moving with a lot of purpose right now. You know, like you're not entertaining relationships of any kind that don't benefit you. You're not staying put at jobs that don't make you feel um, good about the work that you do. Like there's been a, a huge um, change in your energy okay i feel like you've taken time to really just reflect on what's meaningful what you want to hold on to what you want to you know keep versus what you want to let go yeah so you're making a lot of like you know tough decisions but these are necessary decisions okay this is necessary because you want to grow like you want to expand and that's what you're doing Okay, so I see the Queen of Pentacles. It's coming at reverse. So <clears throat> somebody may be thinking of you as, you know, kind of cold. <laughs> That's kind of cold. Like, you're just going to cut me off like I'm your mom. <laughs> you going to cut me off? I have kids with you. Like, you're going to cut me off? Like, I just see close connections. Like, you don't care who it is. Like, if you don't make me feel good, that like, you can't stay in my life. Just like that. So not everybody's going to understand this mindset some people may even think of you as like just a very cold-hearted type of person but you know it is what it is i guess yeah so i see family here they have a problem that's okay they'll be all right i see the queen of cups that's coming out Four of Cups. Hmm. Hmm. So I see, you know, for some of you, I really would try not to, like, take this to heart. But I see, like, an argument or I just see somebody calling you selfish or just really wanting to, like, argue with your decision or argue with your plans okay like you're planning something and somebody wants to argue with it so it may not be in your best interest to share your plans with these people hmm. it's not that you don't care it's like you care too much <laughs> that's what i'm seeing like you used to care so much and i see like it hasn't really gotten you the results that you wanted to receive, okay? Some of you were holding on to people, situations for far too long. And you see that, you know, that's not, you already know that. So that's why you're making certain decisions. Like you're making, everybody's not making a cut. Yeah, but they'll get over it is what I'm seeing, you know? They'll be all right. Spirit, what else do you need a collective to see? Let's see. Yeah. 
Four of Swords. These decisions that you're making, they're not just like, you're not taking this lightly. You know, like you've taken time to spend with your spiritual team by yourself, even meditating on this, praying on it. Like you, this is, you thought this through. Thought this through. This is not just like, oh, I'm just going to stop talking to you because of I'm mad or whatever. Like you, you thought about like, where does this person fit in in my life? You know, if you couldn't come up with, you know, a spot for them, then it's just like, I'm going to have to leave them where they're at. All right, spirit. King of Swords, or I'm sorry, the King of Wands is here. Yeah, so I feel like that's your energy. I feel like you're, you're moving in a very bold way, okay? Taking stock of what is beneficial to you, all right? I'm going to switch decks. Into something else. Mm, let's do this. Spirit, what else do you have for the collective? What else do you have for the collective? What other messages do you have for the collective? Okay, Queen of Swords coming out. Whoa, okay. I'm not sure if this came up upright or reverse. That was a six of wands here. So I'm going to put that back. But I basically, I feel like it's the same message coming out. People are not in agreement with your decisions. Or I just keep hearing like, they'll be all right, you know? They'll be all right. It's not the end of the world. It's just the end of like whatever you had going on with these people. All right, Spirit, what else do you have? Queen of Swords, what else? What do we have for the collective? Six of Swords. Yeah, like, I'm just trying to be happy. That's what I'm saying. I just want to be happy. Like, is that too much to ask? Six of Swords, and we have the Ten of Cups. Like, I don't know what they want you to do. I don't know what <laughs> they want you to sit there and be miserable with them or this was never real. Like look at the okay, so this is the magician reversed, okay? With the ten of swords here. So it's like you're aware of the games, okay? You're very much so aware of the lies, the deception. It's not a mystery to you anymore. It's just I want something else now. Tell me more about that. Because I kind of feel... Okay, so Knight of Wands. I kind of feel like... It's like they're still trying to manipulate you to stay. Or manipulate you to, like... Yeah, get you to change your mind. Yeah, they want you to stay. Spirit, tell me more about this uh, magician and ten of swords. But it's, it's already over because you can see the... You can see the lie here. You can see that this person is not genuine. You can see that this is a waste of time, waste of money, just waste of energy. This is wasting your energy. Knight of Wands, this, this is like, I'm seeing like a false start. Eight of Pentacles, okay. Yeah, it's like a waste of time. A waste of effort. Page of Wands, okay. Like, if this is a relationship and this person, every time you guys break up or whatever, like, they they try to win you back. They make promises that they know they can't keep. And they've been doing this for a long period of time. This could be, like, a friendship. This could be, a you know, a romantic relationship. Um, family. But you're, you, you can see clearly, like, you're not going to change. I, so I need to change. I need to be the one to walk away. I have to do this because you're not going to keep doing this to me like now. <laughs> All right. You wasted a lot of my time. Okay. I've already, you know, given you a good chunk of time. I can't do this. Or this could be like a chunk of money. All right. Somebody just wants you to keep, like, they expect you to keep giving to them without you getting anything in return. That's just not how relationships that's not how that goes. 
I see the High Priestess. So I see you withdrawing your energy from this person, the situation. Like, you just don't... You're over it. Five of Swords. Okay, so this is the energy that's coming through. Five of Swords. Seven of Swords. <clears throat> Queen of Cups. So this person it just loves to pull on your emotions. Okay, oh, we're family. Or we have children. Or, you know, I've, we grew up together. Like, I love you, that type of thing. Like, but... Five of Swords, Seven of Swords. So what? why do you have to trick me into being in your life? Why do you have to lie? Why Why is that going on? Like, what, is, what are you hiding? It's like they don't want you to be happy. That's what it boils down to. You get rid of all that extra stuff. Like, they don't want you to go on and be happy without them. That's what this is. And when you start seeing it like that, it's like, man, I have to, I, I, I want, I want happiness. Like, you have to really, you gotta love yourself more than other people, okay? Like, for some of you, I feel like it's, for some of you, this is family that I'm picking up on, or this could be like a romantic relationship, but you have to put yourself first that's what spirit is advising you or has been guiding you to do like put yourself first you've been putting you know this person the situation this job first for years and now it's time to do things that really make you happy and if you're connected to people that don't understand that or have to manipulate you to get you to stay those are not your people that's not where you need to be Yeah, for some of you, this is like a work environment. I see the Empress, the Seven of Cups. I see the Three of Pentacles here. Like, you are, <laughs> you outshine these people, okay? Like, you just naturally, you know how to do whatever the job entails. Like, you do that and then some, okay? You will really do well starting your own business. And these people see that. They see that. But they don't want you to go on and do better without them. They don't want that for you, okay? All right, Spirit. Um, I'm going to pull from just one more deck, and then I'm going to wrap this reading up. Spirit, what, is, uh, what other messages do you have for the collective? What other messages do you have for the collective? Nature. It says interact with nature in the outdoors, around animals, farmlands, or by the sea. This will be good for the soul and healing for you. Okay? So being outside in nature. Spirit, what else do you have for the collective? We have jealousy. Okay? It's jealousy. That's what it is. I don't want you to be happy without me. Watch who you trust with your personal secrets and plans. Spend time outdoors, okay? So Spirit is really advising you to spend time in nature, all right? Um, to reconnect and replenish. Some of you have been putting up with jealous people, jealous energy for such a long time. Um, you may notice that you feel imbalanced. You may feel, like, just depleted. So it's really important to, you know, put your needs first, put yourself first right now, okay? Because you're, you're surrounded by a lot of people, okay, or a group of people that have been taken from you, that have been manipulating you, that have been wasting your time, your money, your energy, okay? Let's see. Reinvent yourself. It says a transformation is taking place. Enjoy a new lease on life. You definitely deserve that, okay? So, I'm going to leave this reading here. I hope it was helpful. Thank you guys for your love and your support on this channel. I really do appreciate you guys. And I will talk to you guys later, okay?